Like always today, it was the San Francisco 49ers that addressed the media, including Brock Purdy. And the big question surrounding Brock these days is his health and namely the stinger and whether he's going to be ready to go coming up on Sunday against Washington. No, nah, it's been good. Just got a lot of treatment done on it and everything. Um, sort of just work out the soreness within, you know, my, the whole shoulder area, trap area. Um, but it feels good. So I'll be good for this game. Probably after you watch the film of the Ravens, do you feel like you have, you guys have the answers to some of the defensive wrinkles that they showed in that game? Yeah. I mean, I feel like our game plan was good just in terms of what we wanted to get done. Um, it was just the execution part of it that I feel like, um, you know, I didn't do a good enough job. And, you know, I think our mindset and everything going into it was good. But um, it's, I, I fell short in terms of making it happen. And so um, when we watched the film and stuff, like, there was – our plays were there. There was plays to be made. And um, we felt good, you know, getting through the film and, and going, man, we were right there. And we had everything, I feel like, dialed up pretty good. I just didn't execute well. So, yeah, if we, you know, see him again down the road – Obviously, we'd be excited to play them and all that, but we're just taking it one day at a time, and, and uh, we'll see how it all goes. The only interception that was a bad decision <clears throat> was the first one. What should you have done differently? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean that, that drive, you know, we have two really explosive plays, you know, the third down and then the next play after that to George again. Um, so it's like the emotion, everything's built up, like we're feeling good. And, um, you know, then we call this play with, what wasn't the right coverage and so for myself it's like all right dude progress and check it down in the moment for myself i was you know aggressive i was like all right just had two big plays i'm trying to fit this one in and um which obviously looking back on it was not the right decision wasn't the smart play as a quarterback um that's something that i have to grow in you know in terms of you make some big plays and stuff but every play has a life of its own now whatever play is next you got to play the play the right way not just feed off the emotion and, and everything that you felt from the previous plays. So um, that's something that I had to learn the hard way. Well, do you find the balance of still playing aggressively, ripping it down the field, but then also making good decisions? Yeah. Um, I mean, it, the games that I've played in, you know, um, there's a fine line of obviously ripping something that's tight, tight window or tight contested, but at the same time being smart with the ball um, in the situation of wherever the game is at. Um, and so for myself, like I've played in enough games where I think I've, I understand when and where I can be aggressive and, and take a chance, take a shot, and when I should progress, check it down, throw it away, those kinds of things. Um, like I said, it's sort of just, it's a situational kind of thing. And football is a game of situations. And so that's where um, I have to grow and continue to bank on experiences that I've, that I've gone through. Um, but at the same time, the, being a quarterback in the NFL, you got to be able to take some some chances and, and some some risks and some windows at the right time, and um, that's what I'm learning right now. Uh, it relates to your stingers. You hadn't had one prior to Arizona ever, ever. Yep. The fact that you've had one, one in consecutive weeks is that. I mean, even though you felt right, I mean, has it, has it been explained to you that maybe there were still kind of lingering things that predispose you to having one against the Ravens? That yeah, no one really said anything to me. Um, I didn't really know it was a thing until I got it against the Ravens again. Um, and I sort of got explained, you know, like, I guess the, the nerve or whatever can is a little bit more susceptible to sort of, you know, stinging again. Um, but, you know, with treatment and some time and recovery and stuff, you can obviously get it to go down and, and be good to go. Um, everyone's different is what I've heard. Um, so for me, I was fine the whole game, and then that one sack, um, he just just got me right. I landed on it just right for it to go off, and, and but my feeling came back and everything. So um, it's just, I guess, part of part of the game. Brock, what ways is your approach or preparation a little different this week after a week? Like you feel like you didn't execute as well as you wanted to. Yeah, um, I mean, my process, my routine and everything is, is going to be the same um, like I've done all, all year. Um, it just comes down to the moment, you know, getting behind center, going through my reads in the moment, in the heat of battle, um, being smart with the ball, doing what we're trying to do on offense and what the coaches are asking of me. Um, and obviously it's just it's be smart. And so um, but in terms of my process and everything, I'm going to be the same guy that I've been all year um, in terms of how I get ready for a game. Um, it's just going to be, you know, in the heat of battle, making the right decisions and, 
and uh, setting up our offense and our team to have success in the right way. Way early in your career, was this Ravens game a learning experience in the sense of like what it feels like when everything that could go wrong does go wrong and how to respond? Yeah, I mean, it's huge for me. Um, you know, the whole season, right? Built, building up to like what they're saying is a huge game on Christmas, Monday Night Football and all that. Um, and it was a big game. And so, um, you know, for me, it's a great learning experience just in terms of, you know, not, you know, buying into what's going on around and what's being said. Um, instead, you know, executing, you know, in the moment, making the right reads, being consistent, um, protecting the ball, um, all those things, man. It's such a good learning experience. And it's not to say I'm going to be perfect moving forward. Like there's, It's football, man. You're not perfect. But um, for me, I think it was huge just in terms of, you know, being a quarterback in this league when things are going well. People can say some great things and and uh, it's easy to buy into it a little bit. But, man, you got to put your head down, go to work, have that chip on your shoulder still and and still prove to yourself that, you know, you got to continue to show your teammates that you're the guy week in and week out. So definitely something for me to learn from. Bob, looking ahead to the commanders, what, what stands out when you watch the film on them? Yeah, I think it starts with the two boys up front, 93 and 94. Um, I feel like, you know, they're, they're very disruptive. They've been disruptive really their whole careers and stuff so for us we respect them a lot and then just their coverages behind it and everything the boys in the secondary um their sound and what they do and um you know for us it's you know being smart with the ball make being on the right side of the field when with our reads and um going through my progressions and, and being efficient um i feel like they've done a good job of you know making making some quarterbacks you know have to be efficient and and take the shots when the opportunity presents itself but um, I think overall they're they're a solid squad and and, and sound in what they do. So um, for us, we can't get greedy or anything. We have to, you know, for me, I have to go through my reads and and uh, stay disciplined more than anything. I said yesterday that he felt like the most valuable experience for you the other night was continuing to compete after the, the interceptions. Were there, can you take us into those moments of what you were thinking of, like how you know how you flush and how you kind of move on to, to continue to compete in those moments and maybe how it can help you going forward. Yeah. The game and the situation you know, sort of just happened really quick. You know, they went up quick, and um, in the second half, you know, third quarter, you know, they're up multiple scores, and so then it sort of feels like, all right, we have to make a play, and at the same time, we got all these turnovers, so don't turn the ball over. So, just mentally, it was a it was a good experience to understand like you have to play one play at a time. You know, even if we're down multiple scores, you still have a whole second half to play. Um, you have to still think clearly in terms of what we're trying to do with each play, not just try to get back into the game with one or two plays, you know, with explosives. Um, it's being smart. It's taking a five yard out route or a check down and getting a first down and managing those situations and playing quarterback still um, to get your team back in the lead, you know, by being an efficient quarterback. So those are all things that I had to learn, you know, towards the end, I feel like I was searching for those big plays to get back in the game rather than playing playing the position and so um, watching the film was tough but it was good for me I had to learn it and I'm glad it happened now your teammates especially Nick Bosa spoke out in support of you after the game what does that mean to you and how does that help you approach this week yeah I mean it's huge you know to hear you know guys you know have my back and all that which is great and we understand I think the big picture of what we're trying to do where we're at um, and so obviously to have a bad game like that it sucks and you don't want that to ever happen but um i mean they're they're mature man and they they get it and for me i appreciate them for for understanding you know the quarterback position and how tough it how tough it can be but also you know the reality of where we're at you know we're still you know number one seed we've gotten here for a reason not just by chance and so um to hear them you know say those cool things it means a lot to me but we're trying to win this week and take it one day at a time and we'll get to where we need to be by just being in the present so that was your first four interception game ever ever in your life you, you kind of alluded to your mindset is okay let's not throw a fifth interception or whatever but you're also searching still searching for big plays but it seems like there was a push and pull there i guess what i'm trying to say yeah i mean it's just not being in the right state of mind you know as a quarterback um you know, having the aggressive trigger to, you know, make the throw, the big play. Um, but also, shoot, dude, you don't want to turn the ball over again. Um, it's just a, it's a sucky state of mind to be in. And so, um, but that's like the learning experience of going back and just taking it and saying every play has a life of its own. You have to take it one play at a time and not try to, 
win the game by a couple of big plays. When I'm thinking like that, I just wasn't in the right state of mind, you know, towards the end when we're trying to get back into it. So that's the learning experience. Did you make a conscious decision to wear your hat forward today? Nah, I did not. It just happened to be. Yeah, no. I had a hat head, hat head coming in here, so I put it on forward. Yeah, that too. I did a little growing up.